quarters, quarters. Damn, he's moving this bracket. Okay, it's only seven. I mean, we have like all of these setups, man. That's true, and it's only seven fifty. I like to, you like to see it. All right, now we have. Uh, so let's get into this match. Now, Pokemon Trainer, I always have thought it's one of the coolest characters in this game. Just that dynamism that he has available to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just going for solid damage. You two can. It's weird because he has this big frame, but at the same time, he also is a little bit floaty. Very floaty. But uh, So Squirtle has to go for what looks like kind of uh, unique combos on him to get the best damage he can. I feel like the character of uh, Pokemon Trainer can combo the best? Probably Ivysaur. Combing them upwards toward the sky is something that uh, Ivysaur is no stranger to. Okay. Yeah, he's looking for a back air to up, possibly. <gasps> he read the air dodge, nice but... Nice air dodge, he... <gasps> he has no jump. He has to switch to Charizard and up to the ledge. All right, right now this Zard is living, and this is one of those situations where it might be too risky for him to switch back to, like, he's pretty much stuck with the Zard. Because mm -hmm. switching to Squirtle, not necessarily the worst decision, but But if he, if he gets risky. grabbed, that up throw will be the one to take the stock. I think that's for all of his characters right now. I wouldn't be shocked if, even now with a few pummels, oh, nice he gets catch. the up there. I mean, I'm there that's two advantages for Charizard, you know? There's mm -hmm. the survivability, and there's that kill power. Especially Charizard with all that rage. Ooh. Babe, you don't want to get touched by that tail. So oh, played. so many back airs. Indeed, stacking his percent up. Looking at 38%, 49. And he is keeping on climbing, pushing it to his advantage, not letting Zenkai touch the stage. All right, that's actually... Squirtle Down Smash has no lag on it. None? Like, well, not none, but like way less than you think. To the point where it is, honestly, its best usage is a baiting tool. You use down smash and then immediately throw out a fast option. Down smash up B is one of the funniest things in the world. That's terrifying. It catches people all the time. Now, I just want to point out that Ivysaur up air hasn't really been a thing yet. And mm -mm. I think that even though Mewtwo is a large target, his mobility in the air, you know, and Zenkai is playing around it beautifully. I think the main reason I'm seeing it is because Zenkai is not giving a uh, quit many opportunities to use it. He's playing really grounded. Staying on the ground, mainly uh, using short up aerials, not not choosing to go to the, platform, the top platform at all. He is staying low That's as big. possible. That is a stock, and he switches back to Squirtle. Yeah, like at this see. percent, he won't die to things. Now he'll die to things. Yeah, now it, it, he compares. All right, a little bit of percent on the board. Oh, the fact that whip could be huge. That still works. Double nail to up E. That was really cool, the coverage involved there. All right, get a little baits. A little baked uh, recovery mix up, my fault. And I'm wondering, uh, can Charles, the Shadow Ball still hit on the ledge? Uh, I believe if it goes down, because you know it like, wiggles. Yeah. Not enough right. for up throw to kill yet. But the next grab will. And Charles is stuck on ledge. That's not a great thing for him to do. Yeah, he's just, it can be difficult for him to get out of corners. Speaking of moves with no lag. Mewtwo down smash. Another down smash with absolutely no lag. And again, as you said before, perfect baiting tool. And now with uh, all these good plays, Zenkai has even this game up. I, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. This could be big. All right, he gets the down smash, but he should have a jump back, and he makes it to the ledge. But 79% on his body. Squirtle would be unlikely to take a stock here, but and all right, and that's why we're seeing the switch to the Ivy Sword. He absolutely could. <gasps> that was huge. That could have been it. <gasps> Another one. Three, and he just <sighs> listed every single one of the confirms by his skin of his teeth. All right, now he's trying to look for this up air. Okay, that that down air is on stage. It's just not that great of a uh, doesn't have huge reward. Even now, he had to air dodge off the stage. Trying to go for a two frame. He's on the ledge right now. That possibly could have been a forward air. Instead, he catches F the tilt. landing, and we see him in the camera run it back. That's the sort of thing where he, when that happens, he'll, you can tell he, he felt like he deserved it. He's like, I feel like I know what I did wrong. I can beat this guy. It's not the stage that was the issue. I just made a few mistakes that I can correct. But the question and like it was, it was a back and forth game. No one really had the clear lead throughout the entire set either. That is true, but I think that the kill power was more consistent for Crit. 
You know, think about like the way that uh, Zard was living to like what 150 plus he really stopped. high percents. I gotta ask if Quid is attack canceling these back airs. For the second he lands with forward air, the back air is instantly coming out. So I don't know if his fingers are just that fast to get the raw, well, or if I he's mean, attack canceling it. Uh, attack canceling has to do. With, I mean, the big thing about it doesn't it shift your momentum. It, it like does. ceases the momentum. He's dead. And that's just you to death. I was. Wow, that's huge for Quid. Bro, oh, let's go, Quid. Yo, especially because if you're Zenkai, you ran it back. You know, you're a little bit upset maybe that you lost that game. And but it's like also game two needed to be a shift in momentum it for did. you. Also, just a shift in confidence, <gasps> too. Is, is we about to see JV4? Double zero to death. Oh, okay, he gets the hit in. Oh, yeah. For a second, I thought he was just going to give up. But no, he has fighting spirit in him. This for just, sure. This is just a message. It's like, no, it's like you should have switched stage, stage, buddy. You think you know what to do? Nah, I got the download. I'm in your head now. Don't you know that Red canonically wins this matchup? <laughs> oh my god, he does! And his Red with the starter too. Okay. I think that right now, a big thing. Zenkai needs to take stocks early off stage. You can't, you know, let him switch to Charizard and live for forever. And right now, this is a percent where he could die. Yeah, that forward air might confirm into an up. I think now he's gonna the Charizard is like more likely to come out, unless Quid is confident. No, I think he just can get a kill right now. Charizard, what? ironically enough, can't really get kills unless well maybe with an up smash. Now I think it's just good to go to Zard. <gasps> Oh, I mean, also, Bye. yeah, that's it. That's 2 all victory for Quinn. With the three, three stock in game two. Oh. That was, that was.